Here is Maria Bot, a world-class social AI that can interact with humans as a sentient being. She is based on the character from the Fritz Lang's classic 1927 sci-fi film, Metropolis. However, this Maria Bot is atoning for the sins of her evil ancestor by being an ambassador for human-robot relations. Maria Bot can interact with humans in a very real way. She resembles a human from the shoulders up, has complex facial expressions, head movements and eyes capable of recognizing emotional cues. Since she is modular, she can appear as any race and change her voice. The robot engages in conversation on a variety of subjects using AI to process and synthesize information in order to make her own decisions on how to speak and engage. She does this by collecting data through conversation, direct data inputs, such as books or articles, and through internet sources. This means people can take the microphone and have a conversation with her. She is real artificial intelligence, not just a usual chat box. She evolves in her ability to build harmony with people and in intelligence as she learns. Tetsuko Kuroyanagi is one of the most beloved and respected personalities in Japan. An actress, voice actress, interviewer, and charity worker who has appeared on television for more than 40 years. Meet Tato, an android modeled on Kuroyanagi herself. The android was modeled from a 3D scan, and her voice synthesized using audio from her original's 42 years of television work. The robot is equipped with an autonomous conversation function that makes full use of the latest technology. In other words, an exquisite Tetsuko was born, both in appearance and voice. Toto has already met the real Tetsuko, and both of them are having a conversation in Tetsuko's room set on TV Asahi. Tetsuko Kuroyanagi's moderator style is perfectly reproduced, including some parts where the conversation doesn't quite mesh. It can also speak using the latest speech synthesis technology based on conversation data from the program Tetsuko's Room. In the future, it will be equipped with an autonomous conversation system and will become even more adept at chatting. According to the Android's official website, the creation is the beginning of something called the project Tato no Yume. The site hints that Tato will assist Kuroyanagi in spreading smiles throughout Japan and the world, and that she'll get better at conversing over time. Meet Robot Alyosha, a Russian mobile hardware and technical complex, the most agile and flexible of all modern robotic machines. It is mobile, capable of moving its arms and legs, overcoming obstacles, dancing, speaking, joking, and even improvising. The robot looks as anthropomorphic as possible. It has not only hands, but also two legs. It has a head that it can turn from side to side, tilt, and make torso bends with a small amplitude. Of course, Alyosha's movements, as expected for a robot in our perception, are slightly clumsy, but that only adds to its charm. Moreover, the robot slightly resembles an astronaut in a spacesuit. The robot can be illuminated with different colors, making its appearance even more striking. This is why this mobile robot can be used in places and conditions where other robots would not be suitable. It can learn a simple dance or improvise one on the fly. It can move synchronously with other performers or event guests. The robot can speak, answer questions, ask questions, joke, and improvise. Robot Alyosha 3.0 is perfectly suited for the role of an animator, host, or assistant host. Hajimi 43 is a 4-meter tall robomech controlled by a person sitting inside. Japan is one of the world leaders in robotic technologies. And when it comes to bringing children's fantasies to life, the Japanese are hard to beat. This time they are working on creating a giant android robot that will be controlled by a person sitting inside the body. Such robots are often called robomechs. The robot is being developed at the Hajime Research Institute in Osaka. So far, a 4-meter prototype named Hajime 43, weighing 300 kilograms, has been created capable of moving at a leisurely pace. The company is satisfied with the prototype and plans to further develop an 18-meter giant, similar in design to the prototype. The control of the Hajime 43 is organized on a master-slave principle. Inside the robot, where the pilot sits, there is a miniature copy of the robot in front of him. The operator moves the micro-robot's organs with his hands, turns its head, raises its arm, and the large robot repeats the specified movements, turns its head and raises its arm. Essentially, 
the lower and upper parts of the robot's body work separately. This is because it shakes heavily when moving. There is also a test mode, and the movement of the lower part of the body can be controlled from the outside via Bluetooth in automatic mode. Robotics X Lab, owned by the Chinese technology corporation Tencent, has unveiled a new robodog named Max. The main feature of the Max model is the integrated drive wheels in the mid joint of each leg. Due to them, the robot can move on smooth surfaces at speeds of up to 25 kilometers per hour. Moreover, when using wheels, the robot consumes 50% less energy than when walking. In addition, Tencent Max can stand and move on two limbs, performing simple actions with its front legs, such as holding small objects like a football or an envelope. Equipped with excellent navigation, the Robodog can also determine terrain conditions in real time and create maps of the ground surface. Tencent stated that for better addressing the accuracy control issue caused by high dynamic actions like jumping and somersaults, the Robotics X team developed a predictive control algorithm, integrating optimal jump trajectory planning and real-time balanced motion trajectory planning. Furthermore, Robotics X added landing detection capabilities based on joint torque feedback for Max, allowing the robot to accurately assess the landing condition of its foot during high dynamic movements such as forward jumps and somersaults. This creepy animatronic head by Gentle Monster, also known as Gentle Monster Wows, is perhaps the most unusual innovative robot created by the South Korean eyewear brand Gentle Monster in collaboration with the creative agency Musashino Art University. This giant head was designed to attract customers' attention to the brand's stores. Perhaps this is the most unusual way to attract attention, but it seems to have worked because it's truly impossible to pass by this creepy head without noticing. With the help of special animatronic mechanisms, the head can move its eyes, mouth, and other facial parts. This creates the illusion of a living being and captures the attention of store visitors. Advanced technologies such as artificial intelligence and gesture recognition are also used in the development of the head to ensure deeper interaction with visitors. This eerie head has become one of the key elements of the Gentle Monster Store's concept. Would you walk past such a head? Exterior walls of high-rise buildings are some of the most dangerous tasks in the construction industry. Robots can not only help to build, but also paint these exterior walls, which means workers can avoid hazardous tasks. Exterior wall spraying robots include TR-500 and TD-500. With a length of about 3.2 meters and weighing approximately 650 kilograms, the robot used for exterior wall painting is equipped with drone-like rotors on both sides. It uses the thrust generated by the rotors to press against the wall while working at high altitude. In this case, the thrust can also keep the robot stable. According to the size of the wall, engineers set the trajectory for the robots in advance. Additionally, the spray heads are installed on the mechanical arms of the painting machine. Operators can control the function of the spray heads through a program settings. Operating robots is like controlling toys. Operators click buttons on tablet computers and wireless signals are transmitted. The robots receive instructions, then begin to spray paint automatically. For example, painting an exterior wall of about 1,000 square meters requires two workers to work continuously for 12 to 15 hours, whereas one robot can do the job in two to three hours. Write in the comments which of the robots shown in this video did you like the most. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Caro Show channel. Also check out our previous videos. See you next time.